Yo, what's going on everybody? I'm a frozen here and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use a scan effect in After Effects today. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to create it. So if we just take a look, all we have is our clip, and all I did was add a color correction to it. So from there, all I'm gonna do is create another adjustment layer by pressing Control, Alt, and Y. And I'm just gonna right away just press enter and title this effect and I'm just gonna have the color correction be on top of everything so then what I'm gonna do is type in find edges in your effects and presets tab and drag that onto your effect layer and basically all you have is again the snow white scenario so then what you gotta do is type in CC toner and drag that onto your effect layer as well so now what we have is highlights, midtones, and shadows. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the dropper of everything that we're able to select. And first of all, we're going to go to highlights and take the dropper and take a sample from the shadows color black and do the same thing with midtones. So then what we're going to do is we're going to basically get the shadows and we're going to change the color. So when you're doing your scan, you're going to have a specific color that you want to have stand out so that you can see the edges of the map. So that's shadows is basically going to be what color you want it to stand out. So I'm just going to have like a purplish blue. So like right about there. So that looks a little nice. So what we're going to do now is basically reverse everything. So we're going to go to find edges and press invert. And then it turns into this. So then what you want to do is go to highlights take a sample from the shadows blue color and then what you want to do is go to shadows and take a sample from the midtones black so we just inverted everything and there was a reason for that so anyways now what we're going to do is have your effect layer selected and now we're going to basically click our rectangle tool and we're going to make a mask so make the mask however big you want it to be I'm just going to have it look like this, and I don't know why my computer's lagging so hard. It never lags this much, but, you know, that's basically what we're going to be doing. And from after this loads, maybe I can keep going. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go to your mask and press MM. So then it brings up your feather, and just feather that about mm, 5 pixels. And then what we're going to do is basically press P on our keyboard for position and we're gonna mess with the 640 points on the thing so the 640 makes it go from left to right so you know if you're gonna be using this mask and you're going to make a mask that's going from basically going up and down like that then you're gonna definitely want to use your 360 one so it goes up and down so I'm just going to just delete that mask because I don't want to do it that way. And then I'm just going to keyframe my left to right mask at this spot so it's not showing yet. Then I'm going to go all the way to about 4 seconds. And I'm going to move, make it more positive. So it just scans out throughout the whole map and makes it go to the other side. So unfortunately I'm not going to ram preview So because you guys already saw me lagging enough. And this is going to take a while to RAM preview, and I'm guessing it is going to take a while to render. So, just by a rough, you know, estimate of a preview, you guys can see as I'm scrubbing through it pixely, that it's actually taking samples from the map and taking the edges and making it more visible. So, that makes it really cool. That's a real kind of scan effect. So, that's a really creative way of using CC toner and fine edges together. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this tutorial. I mean, leave a like, share with all your friends, and just help me out, you know? Give me some recognition for giving you guys great tutorials. So, anyways, it's been Refrozen or A Explained, and I'm out, guys. Peace.